All right, guys, so you guys know right now we're in the Brinks box for another 15 minutes, and you guys know that I like to extend the time frame from, you know, just that to, like, maybe 7.45, 8 a.m. to 11, because the moves can happen a little bit later. But we are expecting some uh, volatility. See, for this to be the Brinks box play, I, I don't like it. It came down too slow. We want to see an aggressive move. So this right now might be the fake out. Okay, it might be. Uh, roll over right here. Because we have thick money flow and we have a green vector into our 50 EMA. And we're about and like, so we're assuming that this is going to get recovered, especially in the lower term time frames. Especially if we come up and we absolutely just blow out all of this liquidity. Like if we just do a massive candle like this. I would consider that to be our fake out. Maybe come back up and test the daily open. So right off the bat, we're watching this zone without doing any additional technical analysis. We're watching somewhere up here because there's liquidity that can be taken. We could SFP this and just completely roll over. Plus we have uh, confluence with our EMAs. Who is, uh, okay. Yeah, plus we got confluence with our EMAs. So right now, this is where we're looking, if we even come up that high. But this could be a cheat sheet. Uh, this could be a cheat sheet entry, and this could be our uh, our Brinks fake out right here. Literally could be this. So now we're gonna jump to the one minute and see what's going on here. We still have these vectors that can be recovered. I kind of want to see higher. I want to see us take this high. If we take this high. I would feel better. Oh my goodness, this freaking mouse, bro. Okay. I want to take that high. We'll see. Let's see our higher-term our higher term time frames. Yeah, man. See, we're getting... So, we're getting the vectors, right? So, we are expecting somewhat of a, of, a, of a pullback. This could also... If this wave goes high enough, could be a cheat sheet entry. But we're not worried about the 12 right now. We're jumping into our 3. Three, now we're looking to front run it. So now we see what happens on the one. Now we're gonna watch for rejection here. You could probably start laddering in your position, but uh, I don't know. It might be early. We got to see if this high gets taken. If this high does not get taken, then this is a strong high. This would be a strong high. And we could assume that we're not coming back to take this level. I don't like the color of this. We could change this. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so as of right now, because we broke market structure, which we'll do a stream on um, this week. I don't, I don't, I haven't picked the day yet, but we broke market structure here. We're assuming that we're gonna take the high here. If we do not take the high, then this becomes a strong high, and this becomes a weak low. Weak low. Now we're on the one minute time frame, so market structure flips all the time on the one minute time frame. But this is the way that we're thinking. Right, so now we're watching, and this is live on like how to front run your cheat sheet entries. We're doing it live right now in front of you guys. Right, this we are expecting to come and get recovered. We have to see if this high gets taken. If the high gets taken, then this becomes a strong low, and when we retrace, 
we can expect to not take the low and catch a long. If the high does not get taken and closing candles above that level, then this remains a weak low and this remains a strong high and we can look to short. Right now, best case scenario, because we have this vector, I wanna see a fake out. I wanna see us take this SFP. We come and we grab this. We don't close it. We come up, maybe hit the zone, come back down. Do not close higher term time frames above this level. Come back and recover this. Look, this is our Brinks play, guys. Whatever's happening right now is the Brinks. This is exactly what I said. I said, taking the high. Now we took the high. Let's come on the one. Let's see what's happening. Money flow is increasing. I don't know if I really want to touch that. We might tap the daily open. I don't even know. We, we might not even make it that high, but we'll see. This is potential, like, Brinks box play right now. <clears throat> This is not what I like to see. Uh, yes, it's a it's a trigger wave anchor wave. Or sorry, anchor wave trigger wave. But money flow is still relatively thick. I want a divergence. If this was a divergence, I would be more confident in it, but it's not. So, you know, we're not running with our with our uh, longs right now. This if you are long is a good place to take profit. I'm going to take profit on my long. I think And now we're gonna look for shorts. So now we broke the high, okay? And we're closing one minute candles above it, which is good, but this is concerning, right? And you gotta think on a more macro time frame. I mean, technically we are, it's, we are in like this, it could be that. But that means we could come all the way down here, so we'll see. This might this might be the Brinks play. This will be a beautiful cheat sheet entry. <laughs> Alpha, do you mind just muting yourself, bro? If this was giving us a divergence, like if this wave was lower and money flow was like diverging as well, I would short this 100% of the time. But we gotta see, we gotta see where these candles start to close. This is concerning though. But if this candle closes above here, which we have one minute to do so, if our candle closes above, then we can expect a retracement and then a continuation. Right? And this will make more sense once I do the market structure video. Maybe we'll do a stream uh, tomorrow, a lesson tomorrow. What day is today? Is today Tuesday or Wednesday? I actually literally have no idea. <clears throat> anyway, we'll see what happens here. We gotta, we gotta see how we react at the daily open. And this is also a psychological low, so this is a good good level of resistance. Okay, today's Wednesday. This might be our short, guys. Charge see if Bybit, man, Bybit is like being scammy today. Let's see our ranges.
Yeah, I normally uh <clears throat> I normally have my my levels up with the golden pockets and stuff, but um this is not my regular chart. Normally is Bybit, but Bybit is like acting up. So, oh, okay, these are the same. Yeah, this is good confluence with our golden pocket and our daily open and our psychological low and our swing failure pattern and our box zone here. And our Brinks box vectors. Like this could be this could be our short right here. We'll see. These candles are closing above, so but we got it. That's more intra like structure here, right? Like we're still we're still overall. I mean, we're sideways really, but it depends on the time frame that you're looking at. If we all of a sudden shoot up really quick, I will short it. I mean, you could even short it, like, you could short it now. I'm not saying to short it now. <clears throat> but I wouldn't really hate it. We gotta see what happens. Okay, we took that SFP. Let's see this one. Maybe we come and take this. <clears throat> yeah, guys, for the longs, this is definitely a place to take profit. Yeah, Bybit is, is being super weird. That's why I'm on Coinbase right now and I don't have my levels, but uh, that's okay. It's the same thing, man. When people like, I mean, aside from the scam wicks and stuff that your exchange may present to you, like, it's the same thing. You got to turn it up, turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Anyways, guys, so this is a live example, really. I actually came and I started streaming at the best time. But this is the live example of how you're thinking on the brinks, right? Remember, these green candles. Retail sees this. Oh, engulfing candle. Let's long it. I mean, it might play out, but it might not. And uh, we don't really... We're not really looking... We're not really looking at the charts the way retail is, because that's how you get wrecked. Oh shit, am I 150x right now? Oops. Oh, I'm not so high level. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, I was long from lower, but I did just take profits. But I'm anticipating, I mean, now is not really, like, it's not, I'm not too happy of the cheat sheet entry just because money flow, like, increased a significant amount. But remember, we're looking to front run it, right? Like, because money flow is increasing and we broke structure, we're maybe not necessarily targeting the low, right? Because as of now, in the three-minute time frame, this is a strong low. This is a strong low. Because we broke the we broke the high, but again we have the vectors and this can turn real quick. So we'll see what happens. And also I'm not 150x on the long. I'm 150x on the short, <laughs> which is kind of concerning. But uh, I mean, 
see what happens. I don't know, man. I'll get out soon. Oh, I'll just add to the margin. But this is very important, literally what happens right here. We're at a very important level. So you can't see it, but this says daily open. This says psychological low. So we're at resistance already on top of a potential swing failure pattern up here. I mean, this can get ugly. Let me hide all this stuff. All right, we have our SFP up here. We're in our golden pocket right now. Probably going to reject somewhat a decent amount from here. We have vectors below that we can catch. Or sorry, not catch. We can uh, come back to recover. She's got some nice long hair and, you know and we have our golden pocket in 786 zone. So, we'll see how high we go. We might even just blow it completely and then come back. I don't know. I don't, what, what do we have on EMAs? We got EMAs here? No. Where's our VWAP actually? Where's my VWAP? Alright, we also have the VWAP in this zone. And it's not uncommon to recover VWAP and then fall right below it again. But anyways, if we're looking along, we're not looking here to long at all. We wait for somewhat of a retracement. Remember, as of right now, this is a strong low. So we come, we look to recover 50% of this candle or this candle, and then we return up. If you're going to long, now is not the time to long. But as I mentioned, money flow is increasing, so it's not looking like... Like this is our, 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 I mean, it still could be our brings trade. We could get a cheat sheet entry here on the 10 minute. Let's see what happens, man. This is a strong, uh, strong area right now. So if this clips and we get our div, then that's our entry. We're also very over, uh, bought on the time frame that we're looking at to enter. And we have these vectors below us. So remember, this is not a time to, to long if you're planning on it. Don't do it. There, that might be it. Okay, well, we know all this stuff is here, so let's remove it. Let's make it nice and clean. So you guys just saw in live time me draw my box. How much were we off by? And that was so brief. Like, literally, we're off by $1. All 
right. Anyway, now we'll see. This is not a, a red vector. Remember, we expect price to come and get recovered, right? So if this is a red vector, we're expecting price to come back up and recover it. Because this is not a red vector right now, this is a good sign for the shorts. Because we have no reason to believe that market maker is going to come back up here. We, we broke the daily high for a split second. We were in the green. People see green and people long. That's just nature. Now we're back below our daily low. There's our rejection. We have the vectors that we need to recover. Or not need to, but we can recover. And they're big vectors too. Right? They're big vectors too. So now, let's get rid of this box. Let's get our box tool. We had a strong reaction there. This. And we'll talk about this. But that is a supply. And, um, sorry, a demand zone. Right there. So, if we're looking along, which, I mean, in terms of market structure, now we should be because we broke the high. Right? We have a BOS here. If we're looking along. We can expect price to come back into this zone and potentially bounce from there, which would be in confluence. Oops. Which would be in confluence with. Where's my TR main go? Which would be in confluence with our vector candles that need to get recovered right there. So let's see what happens. This box we don't need. We can get rid of this box. Oh, that's our Brinks box. Well, that's why. Yeah, so we can expect to come back down to this zone and look for longs when we're here. Come down, tap the box, and bounce. If we're going to continue to move up. Remember, we're in the Brinks box. Technically, the Brinks box is now... Is it closed yet? Yeah, technically it's closed. But, uh, you know, I like to extend it, as you guys know, and as I've mentioned a few times. Man, this new mic stand I got is a game changer. <clears throat> anyway, so I am short uh, from... I did take that short from here. Where's my entry? This is my entry right there. And we're targeting this box. And that's how you scalp, guys. Live example. Live trading for you. Now you may want to take profits early, whatever, but a win is a win, right? It doesn't matter if you take profits here or here or here. You didn't lose money, which is the key. But we have to see what's going to happen here with the one minute. I would like to come down lower. I'm schlong, actually, so... You know, I can... It doesn't matter which way it goes for me, but... Um, for the consistency of the stream, we'll say... These... I want to I wanna at least come down to here. Like, minimum this. 50% of the first vector. Minimum. See how the 10 is looking. Hmm. 10, we took 50% of this vector, which isn't really ideal. But I don't really like that recovery. It doesn't look great to me. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We're at VWAP again. See if we reject from VWAP. VWAP is this yellow line, by the way.
Man, best case scenario right now. Yeah, man, like this is still ugly. This might have been our Brinks box. We come down and we, and we come lower. And like, I mean, for the day, like we don't come back up here. Although the two hour is looking pretty good. Let's see, did we get a div here? Yeah, we still didn't get a div. Um, again, if this came lower, if we took the low, I would have, I would have been more bullish. But we still don't have our. I don't see any divs. And usually, what happens on market side for B guys, when you get a divergence? So where's my pen tool? Um, okay, pretend this is like the price. So price is making a lower low, and then the oscillator is making a higher low. You get your divergence. The next trigger wave, even if it comes down to like here, is a very strong one, typically. But we don't have our divergence, and we had very thick money flow, but we did not have any divs. Did we have divs? Yeah, no, we didn't have div. We do have a divergence here with money flow. So, from here to here, and money flow is diverging, and we do know money flow is king, so that is, that is true. However, I would have liked to see divergences um, with the waves, but maybe on the one hour time frame we have more clear. I mean, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> still not great in my opinion. Um, yeah, still not great. Let's do the 30. Did we get any divs? Like, even like within the same wave, we didn't really get divs. So I'm not convinced. I don't like it. I want to see a divergence. Let's see four hour. Yeah, man. I want to see. It. I want to see this low get taken. So for the shorts. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. What did I just do? For the shorts, I want to see this get taken. I really, really want to see this low get taken and give us a divergence. So we could get something like this. This right now looks like it's going to just roll over. Something like this. We have a divergence there, divergence there, huge divergence there, huge divergence there. That's what I want to see. That's a lot. That's a better story for me. I remember, guys, when you're trading, you're trying to build a story, right? You're trying to build a narrative for what's going to happen and why it's going to happen. So when you're entering trades, if I, I want you to think like this, especially if you're in my Discord. I want you guys to think like this. If you're entering a trade and I start to quiz you and I'm like, okay, tell me why and tell me everything that can go wrong, everything that can go right with it. If you don't have a solid answer, you should not be in that trade. Right now, I'm talking out loud, but when I trade alone, not on stream, I'm talking out loud to myself. I'm doing all this regularly, right? You build the narrative. And this is how you become profitable over time. Talk out loud. At least it helps me. Talk out loud, build a narrative, build a story. Go to the higher term time frames as we just did. And you'll see how I come up with what I come up with. How do I come up with my targets? How do I come up with my zones? How do I come up with what I want to see on market cipher B? How do I know that I want to see divergences on the one hour instead of on the five minute to take a long that will take me to the top of the range, right? This is how you guys have to trade. Sorry for my mouse doing that weird thing, by the way. Anyways, at this point, if we don't hold this, we're coming down. This is like, we have to hold this for the longs. And if we break this, then we have another break of structure, fake out break of structure, because we broke it to the upside and then we broke it right back down to the downside. On the retracement, I will close my long. And uh, I'll close my long and I will probably add to my short and write it down. Yeah, these are like, like supply and demand zones are kind of like order blocks. Actually, they are exactly order blocks, not kind of like order blocks. So anybody on stream right now, if you took the short with me, you are in profits. Congratulations. 
And all you had to do is watch my YouTube video and give me a four-digit code. Or DM the bot a four-digit code. Anyways, this one is probably going to go on, on YouTube because I actually um, recorded it. And I think it's a good learning experience to, to traders on how you can... Please like, please subscribe. You could have been in this winning trade with me live if you were in the Discord. So make sure you join. First TP hit. Congratulations. Congratulations. I stuttered on that. Luciano. Luciano. Congrats. Man just made a bag. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Bang. So yeah, guys, if you like the content, please like, please subscribe. To the Discord people, as soon as I upload this video, I need you guys to give me the love. Please and thank you. If you made some money right now, tap, type one in the chat. Actually, no, 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 no. Don't type one. Give me a, give me a random emoji. Give me the most random emoji you can find. Actually, let me take that back as well. If you've make, if you have made money watching my videos, okay. If you've made money watching any of my videos or watching any of my live streams or whatever, I want you guys to type in the comments on YouTube. When I post it on YouTube, type in the comments, thank you, Geo, with a random emoji. That would make me feel really good. I want to see us come down to here at least. And then we will reassess when we come down here. Thank you, Sapphire Girl. And you're new, it's, it's showing me, so welcome. <clears throat> huh? 
If this was a red vector, or these were red vectors, this could be a one minute cheat sheet entry. So this is kind of cause for concern right now for the shorts. If you haven't already taken profits, you should take some. But we have to see what's gonna happen here because we um, internally broke structure here or what is also considered a change of character. So we could ride this up. Now this has become a strong high on the one minute time frame. So we'll see what happens. I want to see us come down to here. At least. Um, so I do... So Okay, so my... Uh, wait, let me actually just mention it to the people. So um, someone in the Discord just said, Do you announce the lives beforehand or do you got a fixed schedule? I hopped in too late. So for my, um, my lessons, I give you guys notice. I'll say, oh, in two days at 3 p.m., for example, um, you know, we're, we're going, we're going to do a, a, a lesson and uh, make sure you join the session. But for the Brinks box, I, I try to go live every day for the Brinks box as I am right now. And I'm going to start uploading them on YouTube. So this will be the first one that's on YouTube. So every day brings boxes from 9 to 10 a.m. EST. I don't know your time zone, obviously, but 9 to 10 a.m. EST. Uh, we're live on the in the Discord, and then I will also start going live directly on YouTube soon. So these um, these these uh, brings box streams might be on YouTube. We might bring them to YouTube. Actually, we probably will bring them to YouTube. I just need to figure out like how to do it in a good way. What was the recommended leverage you used on the trade? You normally use 40x. Well, to answer that question, my friend, you need to go back and watch the uh, risk management video. I had a whole video that was an hour and a half long on risk management. I can't really answer that for you because I don't know your risk tolerance. But in short, leverage doesn't matter because all leverage does is change your liquidation. If you're 40x short from here and you know your stop loss is here, and your liquidation is up here, it doesn't matter because your stop loss is here, right? We always use a stop loss. But if you're 100x leverage from here and your liquidation now is here, well, this does matter because your stop loss needs to be there. You can't have your liquidation where your stop loss is. You'll lose more of, of like the amount, the dollar amount than you would lose if it hit your stop loss. So if you use 40x, you're good. If you use 20x, your liquidation's up here, you're good. Right? If you use 200x and your liquidation's here, then you're no good. So leverage is just based on your entry and, and what you're looking at in terms of the trade. Anyway, guys, we are long right now, which means we are long and short at the same time, which is in my uh, my favorite way to hedge against myself. My way to hedge against myself. This is looking more upside now, so it's a good thing that we are long. It's a good thing I took profit on the short. We did recover 50% of the vector candle, although... This is strong resistance, so we got to see if we take this high now. Which we very well might. Let's see what happens in this box. And we're at VWAP, yep. We're at VWAP, we're still at the same box that we were at. If we were to draw a very local um, fib retracement, you know, we, we might expect somewhat of a rejection from here, but we will see. We are in, in supply right now, so see. But short term, like we're, we're very small term, very small time frame. Actually supply, I think is better up here. This whole area of supply. Let's 
So same confluence with our box. Man, I nailed this right here earlier when I drew it and you guys saw it live, sick. So we'll see what happens here. Oh, that's why. Oh, never mind. My TR main is here. Okay. Oh, I don't know what the song is, but I like it. Mm -hmm. So we also said earlier that this could be a one minute cheat sheet entry and it's looking like it. Right? <clears throat> Five minute time frame, we broke market structure, came down to retest. <clears throat> I know you're long, so where did you go long? I was long from like, uh, I'm actually long from like, like here-ish. I missed this trade. I wasn't trading yesterday, so I missed this, but I'm long from here-ish. But I had on my other chart, which is acting up because of Bybit, my exact zone. Look at this. This was drawn before. I put this in the VIP Discord before. Like, guys. $7. $10. Nailed that. I would have nailed that entry. If I was trading yesterday, which I wasn't, so I ended up getting in late. I got in like here. But this is why you guys need to be in the VIP Discord. That is exactly why. And as you could tell from this video, from this one, to the people that are watching on YouTube later, um, the codes are going to be a lot harder to find because you got to watch the whole thing. I don't make the rules. Which reminds me, let me give my GMs, or let me give my mods the new code. <laughs> guys, how are you guys feeling today? Let me know in the comments. Not in the comments on YouTube, I'm talking to Discord people. How are you guys feeling? Or talk. You guys can unmute too. Who's having a good day? Who has fun plans today? Who's going on a yacht? Who's going to the hospital? Who's going to work? Who's just kicking it? No, not chatty today. That's okay. Uh, Hank, Gio. Hey. Um, I'm just wondering. Um, you, you had some quick, kind of long term, more more long term analysis on on BTC there. Um, would you be able to kind of run through that maybe very quickly? Sure. Cheers. So you we're talking about the lows getting claimed for any uh, yeah. kind of longer term uh, upward movement. I'm wondering, is that is that the only kind of situation you see that those, those lows being claimed and kind of getting reacceptance? And so I'll tell you, forward? listen, so I'll tell you this. The thing with technical analysis and the thing that like some people don't get is, man, because the charts are updating literally every second, like your analysis will change all the time. So some people will be like, oh, Geo, you said this. Well, like, number one, things do change. So I, wa I want to preface by saying that. And not that necessarily you're the one that's saying those things, but to anybody that may be watching on YouTube later or, like, whatever, I you know, things always change. So analysis will always change. I just want to preface by saying that. But, yeah, let me talk about the lows and why I discussed the lows. Um, let me go back to my Coinbase chart. How low did we go on Coinbase? Wow. This is a big difference. Yeah, there's there's some this there's is some a huge, huge difference. difference. I want to see Mexi. Sorry, let me check Mexi because that's the exchange that I'm actually trading on. Um, and I'm curious. Okay, this is more consistent with Bybit. Okay, so when we're talking lows, um, I'm gonna do it on Coinbase just because Coinbase is the best, like technically the best chart. Coinbase and Binance are probably the two best. Well, let's talk about this, right? When I uh, I talked about this very briefly in the beginning of the uh, of the stream, but I was on the two hour, 
And just looking at Market Cipher B alone, this this does look good. Okay, I'm not like this. Objectively, we can see nice curvature in terms of our money flow. You're familiar with Market Cipher B or no? I'm 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 able to read it. I I just can't afford it. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, so so we're looking for curvature, right? On the two-hour time frame, we have beautiful curvature right now, which is good. My only reason why I'm I'm saying I want to come back down and take the lows, which honestly we might not, but the reason I would like to is if you've seen my last video, one second, I got to sneeze. <coughs> All right. Bless if you. you've thank you. So if you've seen my last video, right? We you know that we have our when we have our range, oh my. When we have our range, pretend this is our range, right? What happens is price falls as it did and it does a tie and it has its low and then we range, right? So in no given order, it doesn't have to take the high first or the low first, but it will take one of the highs, come back in, take the low, or well, it wouldn't be that clean. It would be like this, then take the low and then continue to range, right? So what happens is the range gets extended and extended. And this happens quite often. Like it'll maybe take the low again, and then you extend the range again. And then it'll come take the high and then you extend the high. Anyways, you get it. So right off the bat, we're looking at, we're looking, the best trades right now are the SFP, so the swing failure patterns of the highs and the lows. Where's our low? The low is very clearly defined here. Now this gets tricky because some exchanges are lower than others because we had a massive drop. But, you know, the, this nonetheless, it is the same concept, right? So we have our low. We're expecting at some point the low to be taken. At some point, right? because there's a lot of liquidity. Anybody that longed in this whole zone, oh, this is not copyright free. Okay, let's just go back to the side of the playlist. Sure. Okay. Can I just repeat the playlist? Yes, I can. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're expecting the low to be taken. That's a clear low. And as of right now, within the range, this is our high. Right? So these are the two lines right off the bat that we're looking at to trade. And this is not my normal chart, so I don't have my zones on this one. Because, I, again, I, I trade using Bybit charts. But these are the two zones that we're looking for. Now, when money flow is very thick, if you've seen my market cipher tutorial videos, when money flow is very thick, the thicker the money flow, the more divergences that's possible, right? So I'm gonna draw what could happen on these. What could have happened, which did not happen, but it could have happened, was whatever, we came down, we took a low, and just follow along with our market cipher here. We took the low, we come back up, right? On this red dot, or this, this red cluster, we'll say, you could take the low, and there's your first divergence, right? You have, that would be your first divergence, right? But because money flow is super thick, we can expect another divergence. So when price comes up as it did here on this cluster, we could expect something like this. And then our divergence looks like this. We have technically one there. We also have another one there. And if money flow is diverging as well, what do I always say? Money flow is the holy grail, money flow is king. And that's why I think Market Cypher B is actually worth it. Because no other of the fake indicators... Who is barking? Sapphire Girl, do you mind muting? Please? Okay, I'm just gonna mute her. Okay. So you can see constant uh, divergences, right? Happening. But that's not what happened. We did not take the low. And because we have in our minds that market makers will, will sweep the low and sweep the high in no given order. But because we know this, we want to see, and we see that money flow is very thick. We want to see those continued divergences, right? So now with that in mind, as I just drew it, the thicker the money flow, the more divergences, right? Well, we never really got any divergences when money flow was this thick. I mean, was this a divergence? No, like we literally never got any divergences this whole time. So after a very big move like that and money flow being as thick as it is, I want to see some kind of a divergence, right? So how do I see a divergence or how can I justify it? Well, we have to take this low. It, like we have to. So 
what is a way that we can like screw up all the traders, right? Remember, as a market maker, you're trying to like wreck traders, essentially. Well, we have the curvature and many people have, you know, market cipher B, they have the fake ones, whatever. This looks good, right? You could objectively long. I'm not going to say I, this isn't a good long. This looks good. If you're long term playing the long, it looks good. However, as you guys know, I use like 100x leverage and I sniper entries as you saw me on stream earlier today, right? So because money flow was this thick, which was the thickest it's been since the, the drop of May 2021, or I think, I think it was May 2021. I went back, I don't remember. It was either May 2021 or May 2022. But because of that, of how thick it is, and we're not getting any divergences, I'm not convinced. Anybody that's long in this whole area, their stop loss is below this low. So there's liquidity here that the market maker can come and attack. You know what I'm saying? So. What can happen now? We could get a green dot. We could maybe sweep this high. Very possible that we take this high. Get a red dot. Reject off the EMA up here. Market site for B will look like this. This could out of nowhere give us a dump like that. And then now what do we have? We have a divergence here. We have a divergence here. Right? It would look like this. And if money flow is continuing to the upside, right? This would be a perfect, uh, perfect divergence to, to take us back up to like, I don't know how high we would go. You would have to do your analysis at the time because remember, like there's data coming your way the whole, like at all, at all times. So you need to be able to adjust it. So depending on how low we go, will determine how high we might come up afterwards. But that is why I'm convinced on the longer term time frames that we, we need another divergence. Now, again, there's no order on whether you want to take the high or take the low first. So you can't just irresponsibly short right now um, because nothing has to happen. This objectively does look good for longs, right? I would just like to see a divergence and also this is not like i don't know if this is true so it, it could be but in my mind theoretically when we have not clean lows and what i mean by that is this is 25.2 on other exchanges it's like 24.2 so it's in inconsistent is the better word when we have inconsistent lows across exchanges like that's ugly man it's hard to do that because everyone's analysis will be different and it's just like, well, which do you go by? Because right now, all the exchanges are lined up. So if it's like, okay, 50 bucks difference, 20 bucks difference, 100 bucks difference, like max $200 difference, sure, cool, what, whatever. But this is a $1,000 difference in terms of the charts. I, I don't like it. Yeah, I was, it's I was ugly. trying to wonder, I was wondering um, like how that would fit with the whole divergence thing. If, if on one exchange, it, it showed up one way on the other exchange, and sort of differently because the difference is huge like, yeah it's, yeah it's, 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 it's very happening. very big what i would say is probably um to go by oh man oh wait this is the wrong coin so what i would probably say wow that's the usd pair this well, I've never actually looked at that. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, man, it's pretty wild. Oh, we're also at a spider line. Interesting. Yeah, I, man, you know what? To be honest, like, I don't have a clear answer for that. Um, you just need no, to be... Okay. No, you, thank you. Thank you. No, no, no worries. But you just need to be aware of it, you know? You need to just be aware that, like, there are different lows. And until the lows sync up, it becomes it, it, it's, it becomes a gray area, and I don't like gray area. I like black and white. I like, at the beginning of this stream, I said, okay, let's short here. This is where we're targeting. This could be a cheat sheet entry. Now we're continuing up. We broke thing. We took profit, so we're good. Our, our short just got stopped out at the entry, but we took profit, so we're in the green. No problem. Like, I like, I like black and white. I like this is my stop loss. For example, very clear stop loss. I don't like this is my stop zone. 
Like, I don't like that. I don't like gray area. I like black and white. So that's kind of the best answer I got for you, but... Kind of no, thanks a million. Yeah, that no was, worries. Uh, that was great. Thanks no so worries, no worries. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that was live... Uh, Brinks box trading for you. This video is going to go up on YouTube. So, um, if you missed it, I mean, I guess if you missed it, you're not going to be here listening to me saying if you missed it. But it will be up on YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of good information in this video. So, if you didn't understand or if I went too fast or whatever, make sure you go back and, and rewatch the video. Because this is exactly how we trade. You think out loud, you find that you build the confluence. This is how this is how I trade anyways, and this is how I've become profitable. I talk out loud, I talk to myself, I come up with a narrative, I come up with, you know, 10 reasons why the trade can go for me, but more importantly, 10 reasons why the trade can go against me, right? I took the short, and then on the one minute time frame, I was like, okay, this could be a cheat sheet entry. You need to be able to adjust in real time, especially when you're trading the way that I do and the way that my community does, not my community, our community, and you're using 100x leverage, this is the way that you gotta think. Right. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's. Uh, like here, for example, we could have a cheat sheet entry on the 12 minute time frame. We still have these vectors that we can come for. So what happens here? We'll find out. We could take the high. We could take this high. We could take this high. You know. So. Anyways, that's gonna be it for today's. Uh, Brinks box. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Brinks box. And again, for the YouTube people, if you guys like the content, please like, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment your favorite emoji. Not your favorite. That's boring. I want you guys to comment. If you've made money from me, not from me, but if I've provided you value in any way, you're welcome, guys. If I've provided you value in any way, I want you to please do this for me. In the comments down below, help my algorithm. Write, type, thank you, Geo and put the most random emoji you can think of or you can find. Something super random. Like I want an emoji I've never even seen before. If you guys can do that for me, that would be absolutely wonderful. I'll catch you guys during tomorrow's Brinks box and I'll have another video guys uh, video up for you again. You're welcome guys, you're welcome. Hey, you're, you're, you're my bae too, bro. <laughs> yeah, happy trading guys. I'll catch you guys later. Um, thanks for a thousand subs. I'm officially monetized, so my, apologi my apologies in advance for your ads that you're going to have to watch, but um, it is what it is. And, and also, thanks for over 600 people in the Discord. Guys, make sure you join the Discord. YouTube people, link is down below. Make sure you join the Discord. We got a great community in there. Will you drop the VIP code in the chat? Missed the first part and didn't catch it. I'm sorry, bro. The VIP code has already been mentioned. You're going to have to go back and watch it. All right, guys. Happy trading. See you later. Goodbye.